And we want to begin with that breaking news this midday. The convicted murderer of 13 year old Lisa Milliken, Judith Neely, has officially been denied parole by the board. WVTM 13's John Papke is in Montgomery with the latest. It took the Board of Pardons and Paroles about three minutes to deny parole for Judith Ann Neely in the 1982 brutal murder of Lisa Milliken. About a dozen people spoke before the board in Montgomery this morning. The group included Milliken's siblings, along with prosecutors and a lawyer from the Attorney General's office. Neely was called a monster multiple times by many during the hearing. The current DA said children often hear about monsters in the closet or in the woods, but growing up in northeastern Alabama, she said that monster had a name and it was Judith Neely. She was convicted of injecting Milliken with Clorox and Drano six times before shooting her in the back and shoving her body into the Little River Canyon. She was originally sentenced to die, but Governor Fobb James commuted her punishment to life in prison. This year does mark the 40th anniversary of Judith Neely's conviction. Like I mentioned, the board actually denied her parole, set her next potential chance for parole for 2028, which is five years in the maximum time they can set between hearings. In Montgomery, John Papke, WVTM 13.